Hello everyone, I'm Nate Nobile. Today I'd like to talk to you about a great thinker who is often overlooked, but is someone who I think needs to be reread and um, reconsidered as a great thinker. And I think he's misunderstood in a lot of ways um, by certain other Catholic theolo theologians and philosophers. I think he's underread. I don't think a lot of people read him enough, and I don't think a lot of people understand his thought as well as maybe say like a Thomas Aquinas or a Augustine. So of course I'm talking about Don Scott, blessed Don Don Scotus. Um, I just like to read a quick snippet. And Merry Christmas, by the way. It's still Christmas if you're, especially for for it's still Christmas, the Christmas season. So. On concerning his metaphysics and his, and his work concerning metaphysics, Blessed John Van Scotus is very eloquent about being, about how um, metaphysics is a science of the transcendentals, which is something that I've never really heard before until reading this snippet of his works, his philosophical writings, and I really think it's really important that we read this book and engage with it. There's the Latin on one side for you Latin scholars, and there's the English for me, for peasants like me, who don't read Latin right now, at least at the moment. I think that I'm going to just read, I'm just going to read a with a, a passage from this and give you some ideas of the depth of Blessed John of Scotus, the subtle doctor of the Catholic Church, and his great insight into metaphysics, into philosophy. Um, again, I'm not a, I'm not a trained Scotus, so I'm not saying I'm fully on board with everything he says, although I'm open to that possibility. I'm still a baby philosopher in a lot of ways, but I have thought, I mean, I'm engaging with these texts, I'm engaging with Aristotle's metaphysics, which I will do a video on at some point in my career, my video making career. Um, so here's a, here's a brief excerpt from uh, his con here's the introductory ex excerpt from his concerning metaphysics. There must necessarily this is from this is the intro to the to the work. There must necessarily exist some universal science which considers the transcendentals as such. This science we call metaphysics, from meta, which means beyond the science of nature. It is as would were the transcending science because it is concerned with the transcendentals. Yeah, and this, I'll read another, I'll skip a little bit, but um, in a lot of ways, this reminds me of what um, the little I've heard about what Heidegger said about being and about how philosophers overlook being as a, as an easy, as an easy understood, as an is a concept that was taken for granted among the history of philosophy. I think I've heard I, I've, I've heard somewhere that um, I've heard in a video on Heidegger that he did engage with Scotus at some point. So I wonder if he got this from Scotus or he was elaborating on his on a Scotistic framework. And because it says here, and I say that since nothing can be more, and is in the third. Uh, part of this concerning metaphysics. And I say that since nothing can be more common than being, and that being cannot be predicated in, in, univocally in an equid, all of that is of itself intelligible because it cannot be predicated in this way of the ultimate differences of its attributes. It follows that we have no object of intellect, the prior reason of commonness in quid, commonness in quid, in regard to that, it's itself intelligible. 
He goes on, he says, Yeah, now I say, I say that being is the first object of the intellect because it is a twofold privacy occurs, namely a privacy of commonness and of virtuality. So those are just some excerpts, some food for thought on Blessed John Duns Scotus. Um, again, this, this is probably wasn't the most entertaining video, but that's not my goal. My goal isn't to entertain, my goal is to educate you on the great thinkers of Christianity and Western civilization. Thanks.